what's up everyone today i'll be changing my roller weights to my 2023 yamaha zuma it's gonna be the same thing for your 2022s and your 2024 so let's get right to it all right firstly we're gonna be removing the air filter cover and the cvt cover uh we're gonna be taking off this screw 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 and the screw for the air filter cover and these two screws these two this one and this one on the cvt cover now for the cvt cover you are going to need an impact screwdriver that's jis rated uh japanese industrial standard screwdriver you're going to need it 100 or you're going to need a jis uh bit that you can put on a on an impact uh driver but you are gonna need this 100% to take it off. If not, you are going to strip your screw. This is what happened when I tried to do it with a standard American uh, bit. It did not work out well. If you're gonna be working on your Zuma, get yourself some Japanese screwdrivers. All right, there was quite some screws, but once you get that last one off, you just gotta pull it forward into the side a little bit and it comes right off. All right, time to bring out the hammer and tackle these six screws. Let's get to it. All right, I'd like to note that I'm using the number three screwdriver from the vessel kit. Um, I have the number three and the number two for the smaller screws, like the ones that we used for the for the air cover, the air filter cover. Um, so get yourself a number three and a number two. All right, to remove the crankcase cover, we're gonna remove that bolt, 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 that one, that one, that one, and these two right here. Some of these bolts have a white powdery stuff on it. Is it a grease or is it a sealant? I don't know. Some of them just come out nice and clean. All right, now we're gonna remove the two screws for the air box and we're gonna be using the cheapest number nine socket from Harbor Freight. All right, once those two bolts are off, we're gonna be um, just pushing the air box aside and moving it out of the way. So you're gonna be using your finger to grab from back here and pulling uh, the crankcase towards you to pop it open. Once it's uh, once you pop it free, you just gotta wiggle it back and forth. You might have to move the air box a little bit out of the way more, uh, pivot it a little bit, just wiggle it a little bit, be gentle and it'll come right off.
All right, while we have the crankcase cover off, don't forget to pull out a brush and give this a good cleaning. Brush out all this nasty um, belt dust out of here. Um, this is some nasty stuff to breathe in, so wear a respirator or a mask, or just try not to breathe while you clean it out. All right, I'm gonna be using a 17 millimeter uh, socket to remove the nut over here. Now, typically, typically you're supposed to use these two holes for with a special tool that holds this um, the fan in place while you remove the nut so it doesn't spin on you. I don't have that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just get my um, my impact wrench. I mean my impact driver and just give it some chugga chuggas and hopes it comes off. So let's give it a try. Now torquing it down is gonna be a different issue. So I don't know what the, this is a crazy looking washer. Like that, like that. I'm gonna take this off. Give the little fins a little clean. That looks beautiful. No, Leia, no. Can someone tell me if this is a restrictor washer on a 125 Zuma? Do I have to put it back or not? Let me know in the comments. All right, now the trick to removing the variator sheath in all in one piece without spilling everything is by sticking your hand all the way in the back and making sure you're clamping everything while you're holding it and pulling it off together. I tried shaking off the collar, but it didn't want to budge. So I'm just sticking everything upside down. No big deal. And removing the cam be careful there's little sliders on them and they can fall off and you can lose them so be careful see Whoop. putting them back is real easy all right inside your main uh sheave you'll find your rollers the crazy part is that my rollers look brand new they look pretty it's like I could barely find a flat spot on them. You're supposed to change them every 10,000 miles. I am at 16,500 miles and they still look amazing. I love my Zuma. But we've gone this far, so let's change them. Here's the part number if you need it. Uh, they do take forever to arrive from Partzilla. Try eBay. You're going to be putting them in these spots. Just pop them in. Once you're done, grab your cam and make sure the um, grooves slide into the into the ribs, I guess. Uh, make sure your sliders are in place and like that. Now with your hands, you're gonna grab it and sandwich it with your hands, holding nice and tightly, making sure those rollers do not fall out. We're gonna slide this into place. Once it's in place, we're going to grab the collar guide and slide that into its place. You might have to wiggle the the whole housing, the sheave housing, the variator sheave housing, whatever you call it. Don't forget the washer. Put that into place. Put your belt back on. We're going to grab the variator fan. Making sure the gear teeth align properly if you look inside and you're seeing darkness like this you do not have it properly inserted this is what you want to see teeth on teeth 
Next, we're gonna take our washer plate, put it in place, take our nut, screw it down as best as we can by hand, making sure that washer is centered. And the service manual calls for this nut to be torqued down to 56 foot pounds. So grab your torque wrench and torque it down to 56 foot pounds. Um, you're going to need, probably you are going to need that special tool to hold it into place while you torque it down. If not, the variator is just going to spin on you and it's never gonna get tied into its proper torque specs. Um, but if you're a wild stallion, just grab your uh, impact driver and give it a few chugga chuggas. I give it about four or five, the same amount as it took to take off. Once that's done, grab your crankcase and put it back in place. I'm going to screw down all the bolts by hand before torquing them down. These you'll be torquing down to 7.4 foot pounds. These you'll also be torquing down to 7.4 foot pounds. Put back your outer crankcase cover. All right, now these bolts you'll be screwing down to 5.2 foot pounds. Take your air filter assembly cover and slide it back on. Put back all the screws that hold it together and you'll be done. These screws should be torqued down to 0.88 foot pounds, but honestly, I'll just do it by hand, by feel. Just uh, go as tight as it goes a little bit and a little more and that's it. That fast, that simple. How to change your roller weights on your 2023 Yamaha Zumas. Peace out.